Hi guys, welcome back to yet another video. My name is Martin, filming this in my storage unit today. Uh, as you can see, I'm still working out how to uh, use the uh, the tripod. Um, what I have for you though, is four comic books, and I end on a key issue. So let me just straighten my chair up, because I might be I'm a little bit too close to the camera. Uh, the overarching theme of this video is that every issue starts with the letter G. Uh, so uh, recently, well not so recently, I, I did some videos where I was concentrating on particular letters. Um, and uh, yeah, I was just, uh, I was going through uh, the G box <laughs> and I found some really nice stuff. Um, so the first one I'm going to show you is Gamora, issue one from Marvel. Uh, now, I actually do not remember reading this. Um, obviously, I own it. Um, and look, it's a beautiful cover. Uh, maybe I should reread it so that I can uh, be uh, familiarized with uh, the interior. Uh, but um, for the most part, yeah, it was a, a read and forget. Um, but now that I see it again, uh, I do appreciate the cover. It's a beautiful cover. Uh, I just for the life of me, I cannot remember what happens in the story. What I have for you next, though, is something a little bit different, a little bit uh, childish. It's uh, suggested for immature readers, 13 plus. Uh, it's my birthday today. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'd categorize myself as uh, Im an immature reader. There you are. <laughs> it's the Garbage Pail Kids uh, Puketacular um, from uh, IDW. And uh, yeah, it's um, it's got a, a, a vast array of... Um, of creators, uh, all uh, bringing out their uh, their A game uh, for the Puketacular, and it's a lot of fun, uh, just a lot, a lot of silly fun. Uh, yeah, so that's the Garbage Pail Kids Puketacular. What I have for you next is uh, the final issue of a uh, of a Marvel book. Now I have gone on about um, final issues. I'm a big fan of them, um, and this was no exception. There we are. I'll just put you out of your misery. It's Generation X, issue 75. Um, now, the Generation X series uh, was not great in that uh, it started off really well uh, with the uh, the uh, Pachaco, was it the Pachaco artwork? Uh, the Chris uh, Pachalo, I think. Anyway. It started off with a particular art style, let's just say that, and then when he left the book, uh, it kind of didn't know where to go. Um, and artistically, I think it was hampered by the people who they had. Um, yeah, I think I think a more a more cartoony style would have been uh, suitable. Um, but um, yeah, uh, they had the, the Dodsons, uh, which was a, a bit of a lifeline for this series. And uh, yeah, they've decided to end it with. Uh, issue 75, I've just noticed uh, it's Ron Lim uh, who's done the interiors uh, on this series. And um, yeah, unfortunately it ended with issue 75. Uh, they did a subsequent uh, volume 2, which again kind of lost its way pretty quick. Uh, I read it, uh, it wasn't for me, uh, that's perfectly fine. Not every book has to be for me, um, but I was just a bit disappointed that volume 2 didn't kick off uh, to the success that Volume 1 uh, um, enjoyed at the start. But the final uh, issue I'm going to show off is Issue 1. It's an X-Men book. It's started with the letter G. I think you know what it is. It's Gambit, uh, the original miniseries. Now, I bought this. Uh, this <laughs> I didn't have the internet uh, when this came out. And I had to get this through mail order. And uh, yeah, I got something in the mail, like a little pamphlet saying Gambit number one. And I got all excited. Uh, and I thought I didn't know what to expect. And I pre-ordered it. I waited. I waited. I sent uh, my, my parents sent a, a, a money order to these guys. Um, and yeah, got it in the mail. I was very excited. It was the first time I'd ever gotten a, a comic through the mail. Um, and I read it and I read it and I really enjoyed it. The Lee Weeks artwork was great. Um, I've since met the guys who did the mail order because uh, they're still in the local industry. 
Um, and yeah, they're nice guys. Um, they ran uh, Doggone Comics <laughs> in Camberwell. And uh, they don't do it anymore, I don't think. Uh, but I still have all the mail orders that uh, they sent. Because I only ordered that one book. Uh, sorry, I ordered that book and another book. And for the next six years, they sent mail orders every month uh, to <laughs> to my house. And uh, yeah, I enjoyed the mail orders, but I never ordered from them again. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's uh, that's the end of the video. Uh, thank you for sticking with me. Uh, please uh, like and subscribe, uh, all that good stuff. Please uh, put down the comments down below what you think of the books and particularly what you think about the audio visual uh, aspect of these of this channel. Uh, is there any way you, in which you think I can improve? Uh, I'd very much like to hear from you guys. Uh, so thanks for sticking with me. I'll catch you in the next one.